Hey you guys, I um, wanted to kind of do um, a try on for the new Impress You Knows that I got from Influencer. Um, if you noticed some of my last videos, um, I kind of explained what Influencer was. And um, I got these nails um, from the Mom Fox Box, and I wanted to kind of show you how these work. This is my first time ever using this product. Also at the end of the video I'm going to kind of show you some of my favorite nail polish colors and some of the ones I, I just don't like. Of course as you can see my nails are horrible. I have the most disgusting nails in the world. Um, they, they chip in the middle all the time. My nails peel because of the dry cold weather or I wash my hands I always sanitize wash my hands a lot so that could be the cause of the peeling of my nails and so what it says is just to moisturize use lotion and uh, polish to seal it so unfortunately I have this problem with with putting nail polish on I'll put it on next minute I'm touching stuff and I, I just look like a hot mess so um, this I'm gonna try this product and see if I like it. So cute little nail polish bottle. How cute is that? Okay, so I don't know how to open this thing. Maybe this is on the instructions. So. No, it doesn't tell me how to open it. Okay, so you just twist it off. Fold. So what I want to first do is take one of the nails, and then I don't know if you can see it, but it has this little plastic thing on the bottom, so you just peel it off and stick it. But before I peel it off, I want to measure the nail on my finger just to make sure that it fits before putting it on. And this one, this one looks like it fits my pinky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of try them on, put them to the side, and then um, start putting them on. So what I'm finding with the thumbnails is my thumb um, nail is pretty long compared to this small piece there. And when I put it on, you're going to see my nail um, under it. So I'm actually going to cut all my nails prior to putting these on, but you're, you're still going to see, I mean, it's not going to be that short and you're going to still see my nail underneath the, the thumb one. I can't find any thumb ones that are long enough to fit to wear you're not going to see my natural nail underneath that. So that's one thing you guys need to think about when making a nail product is make sure that the nail is long enough to fit the fingers because um, someone can just go to the store and buy the nails and kind of assume that they're all going to fit and they're going to be mad and angry and not want to buy these again just because something as simple as the nail is not long enough. I'm just going to test these nails to see if I like them. Um, if I do, there's a possibility that I may purchase them again, but right now that thumbnail is not making me happy. So what I'm finding is I'm having problems finding a nail in the packet to fit my bowling finger and my thumb. But, and then I like how the other... Um, nails have the numbers on it so you know which number you can put on each nail. These ones aren't really numbered so you can't really can't really fit them well. And it's not making me happy. Okay so what I did was I put together some of the nails that I um, assumed that would fit closest to my nail size and next I am going to clip them. So See my little dolphin? Isn't this so cute? Pull the little beak off and it is a nail clipper.
Okay, so I chopped all my nails off, and I am not used to having short nails just because I use the computer a lot or move stuff, and picking up stuff with no nails is very difficult. I would use the filing at the end, but it irritates me, so it's not going to happen. I'm just going to take it, and I don't know if you can see it just because I have really bad lighting, one, and um, not a great camera that I'm using at this moment so you can see it yay if you can't ooh but here we go so I'm gonna first be unpeel it wait should I read the instructions first <laughs> to apply apply in minutes tab is at cuticle so I put the tab at cuticle find the correct size for each nail check if needed, use smaller sizes for best results. Nah, they're all pretty much small compared to all my big fingers. Lay out 10 nails in each finger order. Check. Cleanse natural nails with enclosed prep pad. There's a prep pad. Remove, uh huh? Lens natural nails with enclosed prep pad. Is this the prep pad? Oh! <gasps> prep pad! Okay. Uh, um. They don't have any of the instructions in English, so I'm just gonna rub them on my nails. Let's see, I don't know if you can see that, but the only words that are in English are the top two, and then everything else is kind of uh, foreign to me because I only understand English. Thanks a lot, school. All I've learned is English. So, prep my nails with the pad. Ooh, smells like alcohol. So I guess maybe nail polish remover or excess nail polish. So I'm guessing this has some kind of alcohol in it, which I would have known if there was some English written on the instructions. Yeah. Okay, prep pad done. Check next. Firmly apply nails, thumb, nail, last. They want me to do the thumbnail last so I can, I guess, press the other nails so that the thumb doesn't pop off, possibly. Thumb is last, so pinky is first. Again, this doesn't tell me how long I need to press or hold it for, so I'm just going to assume to press hard and it will be... But I... Remove or not to remove. Remove, not to remove, remove. Maybe I'll count to eight. Eight's like eight's a good number, so I'll just count to eight. One, two, okay, it's long enough. So there's the first one. Um feels like it's just gonna pop off. Okay, so they were on. Uh, they kind of feel like they're gonna easily pop off, and they also look on top. You can obviously tell that these are fake nails. Um, I, I think it was a good idea. I think they need to put a little bit more work on them. Um, but I, I just feel like they're they're just gonna pop right off if I do anything, which I'm sure um, they will end up popping off soon. So this is it. I am complete with the nails. They're all on. It was it was pretty easy to put on. Um, um, I'm not 100% not, not a fan yet. I, I want to kind of see how long they are going to stay on before I maybe even purchase any more. So that is that. That was from my influencer mom box box. Uh, the nails are on. They they feel like they're gonna pop off. I, I I'm 
feeling a little nervous just because I can just see nails shooting everywhere like fireworks. So if you see my nails shooting fireworks, happy 4th of July to you. So, okay, so that was me putting on my nails and I wanted to kind of go over some of my favorite nail polishes. Um, right now I am in love with Essie. Who doesn't love Essie nail products? And, um, and they have some hits and some misses, so I want to kind of go over the ones that I do love. So, um, my favorite color is pink. So I had to get this, um, several pink colors, and this is kind of a hot pink, and it is bachelorette bash so um hot pink very cute color i don't know if you can see it very well in my lighting matches my lips it's very cute very beautiful color so that is one of my favorites bachelorette bash i also love this color here it's kind of a it reminds me of a mod some kind of a mod look um and this is Eternal Optimist. I'm very optimistic about this color because I am in love with it. Good color. Also, um, this is out of the S, not even in SE, but Hot Ticket. Um, this is one of my favorite colors. I wear this a lot. I got this actually from one of my My Glam bags. And it's a coral reef um, coral color. Um, when I first got it, it was just a hot mess. It was spilled all over. Um, but it is a gorgeous kind of a coral color. And I got many compliments on this. So um, it's from Hot Ticket. And those are a few of my favorites. And then also there is some colors that I um, bought that I regret. And I will never buy them again because they're just pointless. So um, there are all three. I'm going to put them together. They're all three Essie colors. Um, they're really light. Um, I didn't expect them to come out so crappy, but this color is kind of a white color. It's called Marshmallow, and this is a crappy color. When I put it on, it it just it looks streaky, and I, I wanted more of a white color. So Marshmallow is not white. It's marshmallow -y, but even worse than Marshmallow. So um, also, this color is a no-name color. Oh, Sugar Daddy. Sugar Daddy is not my Sugar Daddy. I do not love you. You're gone. Out of my household. Bye. Just go. And then also, the... Okay, so these are both Sugar Daddy. Same number, but they look like a completely different color. So I'm, I'm a bit confused. Essie, you have Sugar Daddy, two different colors. You can obviously see they're two. This is more of a, uh, yeah. And then this is more of a light pink. So um, they both say that they're the same color, which is a total lie. See, Sugar Daddy. And then... They both say Sugar Daddy, and they're not both the same color. So, Essie, I demand a refund for you lying to me. Okay, bye-bye. Just, just get them out of my life. Ow, go. So, that's it. Um, showed you what I like. Showed you what I didn't like as far as my nail colors. Showed you how to put on Impress, impress Nails. It's up to week. We'll see. And there you go. Um, if you have, if you've tried these or have them on, love them, let me know what you think about them. I, I'm not a fan yet. Um, let me know what you think. If you want to get them, it's up to you. I'm not going to tell you to do or do not. Um, it's really up to you whether you do or do not want to purchase this product. But there you go. Bye.